I'm here today with Diana Susiman, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the services that she provides here in El Paso. Hi, I'm a massage therapist, a uh, body worker for about six years. It's my, it's my passion, it's my focus right now in my career. I usually uh, train and take uh, classes, certifications often, and the more I like going to educate myself, I fall in love more with it. You know, yeah. so it's like a non-stop and I continue to fall in love with it every time and it's like a mind blown mm -hmm. continuously. The type of work that I do, it's very different from um, regular massage. Mm -hmm. It's more kind of like a holistic. Now I'm able to provide emotional support to some people. Okay. Uh, and it started being from <clears throat> my neck is hurting to now my throat is like this. From my neck is hurting to the person uh, telling me they're emotional, what's going on, and then mm -hmm. then it's related to the neck or. So you see a kind of a link between emotional trauma and the physical yes. ailments they come in with. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, so a lot of the times, and also diet wise, mm -hmm. so I often find myself. You know, people come for a regular massage, and then with me they find that they can get different guidance. You mm -hmm. know, I have them. Like, also, oh, I'm not a doctor, so I mm -hmm. don't recommend anything out of my scope of practice. But mm -hmm. I do say, just take a look at your diet, you know, mm -hmm. see what you're eating and what's causing either inflammation or headaches or, mm -hmm. you know, or do see a doctor and see what's mm -hmm. happening of a, a chronic uh, situation like mm -hmm. headaches or like neck pain or and then uh, most of my clients do listen to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I also tell them, do you stretch? Do you work out? Like um, when the muscles are weak, also the other muscles overwork themselves. Yeah. So then you have to engage your core. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can find a yoga class around you, mm -hmm. uh, a trainer or a gym, whatever you can. And honestly, I have all of that as like my colleagues. Mm -hmm. And I can- Oh, so you do I have people you can network with that. Yes. That's perfect. Okay. And I have like amazing people. Yeah. Like my my yoga instructor, she does mobility training with the yoga, mm -hmm. which is, mm -hmm. it, that has given me so much um, positive input into my career. Mm -hmm. Because if I didn't work out or I didn't do yoga, I don't think I would be doing this for six years mm -hmm. and counting because I'm willing to go more. Mm -hmm. I know people that have been doing this for over 30 years or yes. 25 and up. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like my goal without uh, jeopardizing my body exactly. and by that then I can be the example right mm -hmm. I have to uh, invest time and space and anything that I can to me mm -hmm. so I can be better for my clients and then um, as far as different styles of massage so I've only gotten massaged a handful of times right so mm -hmm. I'm not very familiar with all of them I hear people talking about like deep tissue reflexology different things like that what all do you encompass with your massages? I have a, and there's very few people in El Paso, but I think I'm more, the more active practicing, it's called Ashiatsu. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do massage with my feet and uh, it's oh, the pressure, yes. So you like stand on top of the people? Yes. <laughs> I've only seen that in movies. That's what these are for. Uh -huh, the you guys can't see it, but there's some bars on the ceiling there. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And then, so the bars help me stabilize my body so I'm not like, uh, like hurting the person yeah. or slipping off the table or off the That's person because awesome. we do use lotion uh and it's a slight and very gentle mm -hmm. deep stroke throughout mm -hmm. the body because of course my hand it's so much big and my feet it's like twice as big yeah. so i'm getting more area and it's so effective i love it because in one hour sessions of ashiatsu i can't uh -huh. it's it's equivalent to like two hours of regular massage to yeah, me. Yeah. So I really get the the tissue to be elongated. Yeah. Uh, I go into the fascia as uh -huh. well, as okay. deep as fascia. Uh -huh. um, and I even go deeper than deep tissue. Yeah. Because deep tissue, I feel like I, you know, a lot of people are lovers of deep tissue, but honestly, I feel like it's kind of painful to get to yeah. that level of intensity. Uh -huh at times uh -huh. uh, when it's done well then pain it's not much but if you really want to go deep you have to kind of like work uh your way in and i do work my deep tissue through different angles 
<clears throat> of the body i position the body differently mm -hmm. so i can't even the legs i can yeah. go deep without being so invasive with the pain because okay. honestly i'm not into the no pain no gain i'm mm -hmm. not into I don't that. Agree with that yeah <laughs> so i have had more efficient sessions uh -huh. with no pain and it takes me kind of like a little few sessions to have re-educate my clients uh -huh. that pain does not has to be a thing i'm very open to modalities mm -hmm. and then my friend he's the one that certified me he's here in el paso mm -hmm. and uh, he's before he got certified to certify me and all mm -hmm. of that he's like hey like i found this modality let me try it on you and mm -hmm. he, he just put his foot on top of me just and then he was looking at his manual those two three minutes that he put his foot on me i said oh my gosh what is this i'm yeah. in love with this like i, I wanna i'm taking your class i'm taking your class and that's how i fell in love with it and he didn't yeah. even do a stroke he didn't do anything because it's so i feel like it's very grounding and it's like the perfect pressure mm -hmm. and i love it because it's so effective so mm -hmm. i do a combination of that Okay. I can add uh, some cupping, I can do some hot stones. So every session, uh -huh. even if it's the same person, uh -huh. it's never going to be the same. Uh -huh. uh, because one day you can feel like you can get a lot of uh, pressure or you want it and your uh -huh. body needs it. Uh -huh. And sometimes, no, you want something more mellow, more relaxing, more uh, to kind of like trigger in a good way your immune system, um, your nervous system. Uh -huh. And of course, massages are positive for your immune system, right? Mm -hmm. It boosts different chemical uh, uh, receptors and receivers and all mm -hmm. of that to stimulate different parts of your body. So it's really effective, high detox. So I do a combination of ashiatsu. I do a combination of the cups, the hot stone. I do my own herb poultice, mm -hmm. which is behind you. And it's desert, it's the little ball right there. Oh, the, the white thing. And what do you do with this? You like so I I steam it and I uh, compress it in the body. Okay. So it's really good for it has uh, sage, chamomile. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a whole list. I'll give you the list. Um, and it's very beneficial for the body. It's high detox as well. Do you pick the different sage or chamomile or whatever you put in based on what the person needs or what you think they need? Or do they pick I'm, it? I'm trying to make mine like uh, concentrate in pain, concentrate in detox, concentrate oh, okay. in this. Right now, I kind of like put it all together. Mm -hmm. And when I do the session, I put the intention to the herbs okay. and to the session and mm -hmm. whatever the person actually needs. Because sometimes the person tells me something, but the body is telling me something else. Mm -hmm. So then I do honor what the person tells me, but mm -hmm. I also do honor what the body is telling me too. Yeah. So I put my intention into higher self of the person, uh -huh. the best and highest for them. Yeah. So that's how I work also with my essential oils that I use. Uh, I do also functional body work mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm currently in training, but I feel like that has changed also the way I work and it's more effective mm -hmm. and I can really work the attachments and mm -hmm. like really release and maybe have the shoulder kind of like where it's supposed to be or hips. Um, so I do a combination of everything and I do explain like right now with you, I do mm -hmm. explain all of this to my clients. Okay. Good. So when they come in and I give them the option and when they're telling me what's the area of focus for that day or how they're feeling, then I kind of like start reading, uh, for example, like we mentioned right now, I don't say I don't like a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. then I can already maybe omit a shiatsu mm -hmm. or deep tissue mm -hmm. but i can use more of the hot stones or mm -hmm. then i can tell you about the herbs or i can do more cra uh, also cranial sacral mm -hmm. which is very relaxing so relaxing it's it's another level of modality too and that and can what is that one so because i've heard that term before but i don't know what that one does it's either. evaluating the cranial sacral fluid mm -hmm. And by evaluating already the magic it's happening, uh -huh. just evaluating because it's very subtle. I'm pretty much like this, or like my hands are in a certain position uh -huh. almost the whole session. Uh -huh. And it's very subtle, very, they still for the two of us, the client and myself. Uh -huh. And I start feeling how your, cause your bones, your muscles, everything has like your lungs, uh -huh. a breathing. Uh, how can you say this? Uh, it, 
uh, inhale and exhale, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Everything, the bones, everything moves. There's constant movement uh -huh. uh, through all of your cells of your body. So this is to basically feel how your uh, cranial bones are moving, like the respiration uh -huh. movement. Uh, and then with that, also we start feeling the fluid. I'm also gonna be offering different classes, not only for massage therapists, but also for um, not massage therapists. Right? Oh, so like stretch therapists, because I'm a stretch yes. therapist. So I okay. do stretches a lot. Okay. So I, I saw you last time at the, uh, the Mercado, right? Mm -hmm. And I was, I was like, oh yeah, like, it felt good to feel to see someone that does it too, uh -huh. right? Because a lot of my friends are like, "Oh, I already know to go to you because you stretch me." Or my clients, uh -huh. I, I tell my clients, "Have you been stretching?" And they're like, "No, I come here so you can stretch me." Yeah. But I feel like it's it's important. Um, I love it in my body, so then for that reason, I know that it's good for them too. Uh -huh. Uh, and not everything's good for everyone, uh -huh. but most of us, you know, it's it's sufficient mobility, increasing uh -huh. mobility, flexibility. It's always going to bring more vitality to your body. Uh -huh. So, All right. Well, guys, I hope to see you here with her soon. It sounds like she's evolving with even more tools in her bag. So come by and check her out. Thank you so Thank much you. for letting me interview you.